Hello and welcome to our second step. We open our file. Now we start our project. First of all, we move our properties palette to the right side. And we are starting with drawing grid lines. Grid lines and levels are very powerful tools in Revit architecture to make changes in your project at any time. So we select grid in our home tab and we draw a vertical grid line, click escape, we select our grid line and you see Revit opens automatically the contextual tab, we select copy in our contextual tab, click our grid line and move it to the right side, you see Revit gives us here the temporary dimensions, we need here a distance of 3 meters, click escape, if we take a close look at our grid lines, we see that Revit automatically counts the grid lines. So you got one, two, three, and so on. We'll show you now a faster way to copy grid lines. We select our second grid line. In our contextual tab, we select array. We check if we have group and associates demarked. And we put in here five because we want four more grid lines. Then we select our second grid line and we move it 10 meters to the right. We can also enter this by using the keyboard. Now we zoom out. We also want to draw a horizontal grid. So we switch in our home tab, select grid, and we draw a horizontal line. Now we zoom in a little bit. We click on the number and we change the number to an A. Now we want to use again the array tool. So we select our grid line, select array. We put in here five because we want four more grid lines. We select our A grid and we move it down and put in 10 meters. And you also see Revit names the grid lines properly. Now we select our A grid. You see here a temporary dimension. Everything which is blue in Revit is changeable at any time. So we click and we change 10 to 3 meters. So we now have a distance between the A and B grid of 3 meters. We repeat this over here. Now we want to modify our grid a little bit. We select the grid line and you see you have here a small circle. We click on that circle and we move our grid lines down a little bit. All grid lines are attached with each other with a blue dashed line. We repeat this over here. So that's perfect. Now we want to switch in our elevation. Here you also see levels. We want to adjust the height of the levels, so we select level 2 and we put in here 3 meters. Now we want to draw another level. We select level in our home tab. On the left side you get a blue dashed line. We need a distance of 3 meters. Click it, move it to the right side. Now we want to show you a faster way to create levels. We select level and use the pick lines tool. We put in here an offset of 3 meters. Now we move over our third level. You see Revit gives us here a blue dashed line which shows us where the level will be created. We click and now we are going to create two more levels. Perfect. We adjust our levels now a little bit. and also our grid lines. So now we are ready to create our first element. We switch back in our first level. In our home tab we select floor. Everything is gray. That shows us that we are now in a sketch mode. 
where we can draw the boundaries of our element. We select the rectangle tool and we draw a rectangle from the right top corner to the left side. We see here three lock symbols which give us the possibility to attach the boundaries of our element to the grid lines. We click the lock symbols. Now we move our left boundary and we can use here the temporary dimensions and put in here 17 meters. Now we can finish the edit mode. We switch now in our 3D view in the quick access toolbar. And you see our floor. For navigating in the 3D view, there are several possibilities. First of all, there is the orbit. You can use it by clicking the shift button and the right mouse click. Or you can also use the pan by clicking the scroll wheel. You can zoom out and zoom in using the scroll wheel and you can also use the view cube. The view cube gives you the possibility to navigate very fast to several views. So that's it for our second step and we hope you enjoyed it.